now to a story about a man who stepped up to a major challenge running a full marathon. Some of the best runners in the world trained for years to be at their best on race day, but one Saskatoon man skipped all the training and hit the road for a good cause. CTV's Mark Villani has more. When Robert Van Meenen woke up Sunday morning, it's safe to say he was in a bit of pain. There were moments of thinking, this is going to be way easier than I thought, and then moments of, what, what was I thinking? Yeah, okay. A crazy idea for the Saskatoon man who decided to take on one of the toughest physical tests. He ran a full 42.2 kilometer marathon. What's even more surprising, he did it without any proper training. It could be why just 20K into his challenge, his legs started to give in. But I couldn't bend my legs. It was like virtual rickets, you know, like I just, the knee did not want to move. And my feet were so flat to the ground, it was like slapping. Other avid runners like Darren Dyke don't think it's possible. Oh, uh, I'd say 20, 30 kilometers without training. Dyke ran a solid 24 kilometers along the river Sunday morning. Unlike Van Meenen, he trains quite regularly. You know, I started slow. He's set up a base and, and take your time. And if you plan a whole year, you'll, you'll get through it. Placing up for the big marathon can take weeks, months, and yes, even a year to train for. But Robert Van Meenen did it here in Saskatoon in six hours and 20 minutes, all in support of two local cedar groups. In total, nearly $1,600 was raised for the Saskatchewan Playwright Center and Cedar Knot. Donations are still being accepted. On Sunday, the recovery process began. The 41-year-old drawed a bath filled with Epsom salts. Some ice packs. And using whatever frozen items he had in his freezer, he tried to numb the pain. But would he do it again? And for me, the idea right now of running any distance longer than to pick up the mail, I don't know. I can't, I can't see it. An average athlete completing an above-average task. Mark Villani, CTV News, Saskatoon.